Yeah. Rewilding is last ditch emergency action to use nature's own bounty to counter the twin disasters of global warming and ecological collapse caused by decades of capitalist policies. We cannot restore the earth to what it was. We live in a degraded planet with an unstable climate, but we may be able to limit the damage and avoid the worst of disasters, runaway, irreversible global warming and large scale ecological collapse. We do not even know how near we are to tipping points. That's the scale of the urgency. The natural world is an enormous, dynamic, self-regulating system. Countless interactions between species and within species, both competing and cooperating in an unbelievably complex web of life has maintained not only an amazing variety of species, but also the right balance of chemicals in the atmosphere and the stable climate that has allowed us to thrive. We understand some of these processes, but are light years away from understanding most of them. Capitalism cannot deal with complex systems. It only works on single issues to produce speedy profits. It's very good at killing pests and modifying growth, but heedless to the many dangerous repercussions. With its aims of continual fossil fueled growth, excessive consumerism, competition, exploitation, and control of nature, it has pushed the natural system beyond its limits. Over the last decades, the economy has increased sixfold while the population has only doubled. So it is capitalism that has driven the enormous scale of engineering and technology that destroys habitats. It is capitalism that has used the latest science to disrupt processes in cells and atoms and build plastic and other synthetic chemicals that disrupt and destroy ecosystems. We can only hope that nature can come to the rescue and give rewilding every support it needs. We must also have grassroots policies as emergency action to rewild or restore our democracy. Capitalism has been as fatal to social systems as it has to natural ones, as can be seen by failed services, a failed economy, unprecedented number of protests and strikes. Nothing is working. Our politicians, in partnership with big business and out of touch, no longer have the information or imagination to solve real problems. At this critical time, civil society, the public informed by experts must take responsibility. We must develop and publish grassroots policies which tackle all the crises and support everyone through the transition. We must agree priorities and develop a truly democratic system for the future, which ensures people have correct information and puts them in control. There is a lot of work to do. <laughs>